What's up, guys? It's a little back with another video. Now, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the best all around build in NBA 2K23. This build works on any court the ones, the twos, the threes. If you guys wanna play pro am or rec with this build, it's gonna dominate. And especially if you guys are looking for an ISO build, this is gonna be the build for you. This build can guard any position guards, corner sitters. I mean, most builds can guard corner sitters, but centers and even post scores. Now, something I have to say real quick is if you guys made any of my previous builds, like my six, two, three-point shot creator i still like that build a lot i still plan it a lot it's a really good build but this one that i'm about to show you guys is just a little bit taller and a little bit more well-rounded if you guys are looking to play the guard on the threes court then of course that six two build is going to be for you because as the one on your threes team majority of the time you're going to want to be kind of short so that you're quicker but just wait till you see this build that i'm about to show you and if you guys do make this build we are going to be calling it mr perfect as you guys see on the thumbnail so if somebody asks you yo what build you got just tell them mr perfect and of course, if you guys are confused, this build works for next gen and current gen, but I do have it on next gen. And of course, the badges are basically the same, but a little bit different. If you guys don't have next gen, you probably don't know about the tier badge system, which I'm going to get into. But yeah, basically, you guys can make this on whatever console you're on, and it'll still be good. Now, if you guys still aren't subscribed, make sure to press the red subscribe button, sub up. We're on the road to 700,000 subscribers. I would appreciate it if you could sub up and turn my post notifications. You guys don't miss a streamer upload. Since I am plugging you guys with the best build in the game, I'd appreciate it if you guys could drop a like in this video. Let's say for 10,000 likes. But without further ado let's hop into the builder it's time to show you guys the best build in the game we are now in the my player builder like i said i'm doing this on next gen and also guys i do have rebirth builds which i forgot to mention in the intro i believe i'm like a 94 or a 95 on my other build my 62 and guys if you want rebirth builds which if you guys read what's on the screen right here basically you start at a 90 overall yes you still have to pay for the vc but you don't go to an 85 you can go all the way to a 90 offer up and the game gives you 25 badge points so out of the gate you already have a ton of badges to work with and so all you guys gotta do is hit 90 overall on a build and then check your quest and you guys will see a quest that is about rebirths and just do that quest so yes if you have rebirths you are definitely going to make this rebirth now for the position i really don't think position matters that much this year and for this build i honestly think you can go all the way up to power forward if you really wanted to we're not going to do that though because you know i'm i'm mainly a guard but again it really doesn't matter what you pick if you want to be the one on say the threes court or maybe you know you're going to play pro -em or wreck a lot then you can pick point guard if you want to play the two you could pick shooting guard and so on or even if because this build is going to be a little bit taller as you guys are about to see if you want to bully some of the other guards in my career then you could just pick point guard and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to pick point guard and of course we're going right-handed even though some people go lefty so people think lefties shoot better it's completely up to you for handedness and jersey number like i said before i have a 6-2 build which i do like this build a lot but the thing is it is not that tall i know it has max wingspan so it's not it's not the worst build in the world when it comes to defense it's actually pretty good but after seeing how the gameplay is something that i realized is that speed is surprisingly not as important this year especially for dribblers the attribute that really matters is speed with ball which is in the playmaking category also if you guys know anything about my six foot two build it really doesn't have finishing and i definitely want a build that is well rounded it gets contact dunks it can shoot dribble and play defense really well and that is what we're going to do with this build i've been seeing a lot of people make a six foot nine build recently these builds do go crazy but i feel like this is more of a playmaking glass cleaner and this is a little too tall for me it's a little bit too slow i'm sure i'm gonna make one maybe a month from now maybe a couple months from now i'm definitely gonna make one this year but when it comes to my play style and just dominating i was thinking i'm gonna go between six four six five six six and six seven so after looking at all the attributes that i can get and all the numbers and trust me guys i looked at everything down to the specific badge counts we're gonna be able to get all the badges that we want on this build i decided to go with six foot six for our height now when it comes to the weight the default is 205 i actually went down and i went with 188 because you guys see our speed and excel i know i said it doesn't matter as much but i still want it to be decently high so you guys see we have a 91 speed 89 excel if we were to max out those categories like i said before i want to go with the all-around build so the wingspan at default is six foot 11 but we want to go max because we want to play the defense we want to get lane steals and if you guys want to make an all-around demigod build you just have to go max wingspan i think there's no reason where you should be going minimum wingspan i know it's going to bump your three-point shot up you guys see we get a 98 three if we go minimum wingspan but guys that is a rookie mistake max wingspan 
is definitely the way to go. It is just not worth it to drop your wingspan. You will not be getting stops on anybody. And for body shape, I went with compact. That is completely up to you, but you know, we are making the Mr. Perfect build, so you probably want to copy down everything as I say. We are now on the attribute screen, which is the most important screen of your build this year. And guys, if this is the first build video that you're watching, or maybe this is the first build you're making, or your first time in the My Player Builder, this year it is very easy to mess up your build. If you guys just hop in the builder and make your own build without watching any videos or without really doing any research or learning anything, I guarantee you guys are gonna mess up your build. Like 100% chance you're messing up your build. Lucky for you guys, I've been in the builder basically since the game has come out and I know everything about the builder something i do want to tell you guys if you look at the badges and no current gen does not have this so you can put on whatever badges whenever you want you guys see next gen has this tier badge system and if you guys want any of these tier three badges which are the best badges in the game bully posterizer slithery limitless takeoff you have to spend 10 badge points in tier one and tier two in order to get anything in tier three and then tier three badges to put them on bronze are five badge points so that's 10 over here and then five for even a bronze badge. You guys need 15 badges at the minimum in order to get any of these badges on bronze. So when you guys are making your build, know that you need to hit that 15 badge threshold or there's a way you can do it without it. You can get like 11 or 12. I'm about to talk about that. That is very important. And like I said, guys, we are making an all around guard build. So we need to get our driving dunk up. Now there's gonna be a lot of guard builds this year that stop at 80 driving dunk because that allows you to get quick drops off one, which is the best dunk package in the game. So when you guys do make this build you, could, you guys could write that down right now or whatever you got to do but buy the quick drops off one dunk package that's going to be in the dunk style creator or if you're on current gen i think it'll be on a different screen it'll probably just be in the dunks there's gonna be a lot of people that just stop at this and i probably will make a build eventually that only has an 80 driving dunk. but guys if you want the minimum threshold for contact dunks, you guys gotta get to 84. 92 is gonna be for like elite contact dunks, but 84 will just unlock those contact dunks for us, so that's what we're gonna do. My other build, my 6-2, really doesn't have finishing upgraded. It's still a good build, but it doesn't have contact dunks. I don't even think I touched the driving dunk. And guys, go down to vertical, put this to a 75 because that's also what you need in order to get the contact dunks. You need a 75 vertical. That'll also allow you to get a lot of solid dunk packages. You guys can see over here, we get limitless takeoff on silver, slithery on silver, and posterizer on bronze. Now it's got a driving layup. Put this up to a 70, which will bring your close shot up to a 50. You guys see we get 12 finishing badges now. And I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking solo. You just told us we need 15 finishing badges in order to get any on tier three. And that's true. But if you guys are on next gen, I don't know if it is on current gen. I, I don't think it is. But if you guys are on next gen, there's a quest called Welcome to the League. So make sure to do that quest. Welcome to the League. Because it's going to give you plus four badges. And you guys can pick which category you want to put them on. Now, if you put three of them on finishing, you guys will get 15 finishing badges. And you'll be able to get a bronze badge badge in tier three if you put all four you get 16 and you can get a silver badge so i would probably put all four and finish and get 16 finishing badges because that way as you guys can see you'll be able to get limitless takeoff on silver and then once you finish your core badge challenge for that which i'll talk a little bit more about that later you will get that badge for free at no badge points costed and you can put on slithery or posterizer like i said the builders complex this year the badges are a little confusing i'm gonna try to explain them as much as i can as this video goes on that's gonna be it for finishing though on to shooting and i know what you guys are thinking we are gonna max at our three point because that's basically what you do on any build but no we're actually only gonna put it to an 85 you guys see we're at 84 right now in tier three we have bronze limitless range the cutoff for silver though is 85 so we're gonna go one up to an 85 if we put our three point shot to an 86 you guys will see i think one badge in tier one turns hall of fame and it does and that is claymore that is for spot ups we do not need that and also we just don't need that attribute like if you need that singular attribute and you need to go to an 86 three-point shot you can but your build will not turn out as good as mine trust me i've looked at everything i've tweaked everything you know i've brought down mid-range i've brought down three point i've looked at every single number especially on defense defense is about to be crazy take your three point one down for max keep it at an 85 trust me that's gonna be the method that's gonna be the way to go mid-range though we're gonna get some more shooting badges here we're gonna stop at a 77 get 21 shooting badges which is enough we'll be able to get one of these badges on silver in tier three i would probably say agent three because that badge is looking really op especially if you fade a lot trust me agent three is glitchy and then we'll be able to get another one of these on bronze but of course once we do our core badge challenge we'll be able to get three of these badges and again some of you guys are probably confused some of you don't know what a core badge challenge is i want to talk about that more 
once we get to the badge part of this video now into the playmaking and again you guys are probably thinking ball handle oh that's that's very important we gotta max it out but no we're actually not gonna max it out we're gonna leave it at an 89 especially as a taller build guys you do not need to get up to 92 94 ball handle if you're a build under 605 you guys need to get to a 92 ball handle in order to unlock all of the dribbling animations but as a taller build once you make a build above 605 you guys do not need to get to 92 because I'm pretty sure you get all the drill moves once you're at an 85 ball handle. But we're going to go to 89 because that's going to give us quick first step on Hall of Fame. 89 ball handle is the cutoff that is needed for that. And I think 89 ball handle is fine. The category that matters a lot is speed of ball. Now, we're going to max this out to an 88. No brainer on a lot of builds you guys make, like especially if you plan on dribbling. You guys need to max out your speed of the ball. That is a very important attribute this year. Speed and Excel do not matter as much. It is not 2K20. It is not 2K21 or any of these other 2Ks where speed is hugely affected on how fast you dribble. Speed and Excel and basically all your physicals, that's more for off-ball stuff. That is for playing defense. You know, your lateral quickness, I think, is factored into your speed. And just stuff where you don't have the ball in your hands. If you guys have the ball, look at this attribute. It's called speed with ball. That is your speed with ball this year. They actually did it right. So we're maxing out speed with ball. Pass actually, guys, this matters a lot. Now, whether you're making this build or you're making a center build or whatever your build you're making, pass actually matters a lot because they took bullet pass out of the game and so if you want to throw fast passes it is directly connected to your pass actually so if you have this low you're going to be throwing the slowest passes ever and it's just not good so we're going to go to a 73 pass actually which will give us that 23rd playmaking badge which like i said before guys i did the math every single attribute is perfect on this build that's why we're calling it mr perfect we have 13 extra badges because you know we got to put 10 in tier one and tier two so we're gonna have 13 for tier three killer combos is gonna go gold that's gonna cost us seven then we have six left over which i will probably put on handles for days silver everything about this build just perfectly lines up and the best part about this is the defense like if you have like ocd or, or something like that you are going to love this part of the build because look it just lines up perfectly we're going to go to an 86 pro defense and just stop there because that's what's needed to get a silver clamps and so obviously clamps that's one of the most important defensive badges steel we're going to go to an 85 which look at the tier three badges we get an interceptor on silver look we're at an 84 glove is on bronze but when we go to 85 bang we get glove on silver so that's going to be really helpful glove's going to be a really good badge this year block is going to go up to a 70 look at tier two we get chase down that just turned to silver and then anchor the blank badge in tier two once we hit 70 block is going to turn to bronze so as you guys can see we're just hitting all of the badge cutoffs with this build here and perimeter defense high steel is high block is high this build's going to be really good on defense like i showed you guys before max wingspan on this build too like bro this is going to be honestly almost a lockdown build now i'm pretty sure i just made the build with a 70 block but once i was done i realized that a few attributes left over so i put a couple more on so put this up to 73 also that's going to give us more badges like i said everything perfectly lined up as you guys are about to see put your defensive rebound to a 69 and then put your interior defense up two points to a 55 that'll give us 21 defensive slash rebounding badges now you guys can try and mess around with this you know you could bring your block down to 70 and put you know those three on interior defense it's not going to give you extra badges I, I tried everything i brought my defensive rebound down put it on block that didn't give me anything because interior defense goes up with it the build is just complex this year i tried everything trust me this is the setup you guys want to go with for defense now into the physicals and guys you guys are probably thinking speed excel max that out but i already told you guys before it's not that important you guys probably tell we're actually not going to max that out. We're only going to go to an 85 in the speed. And then for Excel, we're going to go to an 83. And I'm going to tell you guys a secret that I found out about the My Player Builder. And it's kind of obvious, but 2K knows what attributes are most important. Like three-point shot, that is a very important attribute. Obviously, driving dunk, very important. Ball handle, very important. Perimeter defense, very important. And speed and Excel, also very important. So 2K weighs these categories way more heavily. You know, let's say you start a build and you just max out your speed to 99 right away. Your overall is going to fly up and you're not not gonna have that much room to work with where say if you max out free throw 2k knows that does not matter as much so they're gonna give you a lot more room to work with but if you are to max out the important stats it really messes up your build it really takes away from the rest of your build so the reason we are able to get a build so balanced that is insane at defense insane at dribbling insane at shooting insane at dunking is because i didn't go into the 90s basically on any category and again speed excel this is for off ball stuff or just defensive stuff lateral quickness and i think this is going to be good enough especially 
especially with our max wingspan we'll be good on defense now strength unfortunately we're not gonna be able to touch that but the only reason that you really want to touch strength is of course to be stronger in like the post and stuff but if you guys go up to finishing badges bully bully is a very important badge you need 74th strength at the minimum to get this on bronze and we can't even get that if we were to max it out so we're just gonna keep it at 36 stamina though it's gonna finish off the build we're gonna go to a 96 stamina and that'll complete our all-around demigod iso mr perfect build whatever you guys want to call it i see the final badge count we have 12 finishing but like i said put those plus four badges from the welcome to the league quest on finishing so we're gonna have 16 finishing badges 21 shooting badges 23 playmaking badges and 21 defensive slash rebounding badges with solid physicals and what i love about this build so much is that it is so balanced bro like literally everything we get contact dunks we have a high enough shooting like you can hit with this easily you can get quick first step on hall of fame you know you're able to dribble and move pretty quick we have silver clamps good overall defense with max wingspan solid physicals with a 96 stamina so we're not really going to run out of stamina which is very crucial this year and then as i showed you guys before all the badge numbers work perfectly like 20 three playmaking we get seven which goes on killer combos six which goes on handles for days it's perfect like everything about this build just perfectly lines up and a lot of builds this year just say screw one of the categories and it ends up usually being finishing you know you'll see builds with like five finishing badges or seven finishing badges but this one i i don't know how i did it but we really have a little bit of everything now into the takeovers and these are not the ones that i went with i just put these in here just for now if you guys are on current gen though you do not have as many takeover options as next gen next gen has like three of each and the way that i did this build is i put limitless range as the primary so if you guys are on current you can go with sharp but something i realized is fading is really op this year and pull up precision is very op so you guys could honestly do that especially if you're already fading this early on the year maybe you have another build you're fading on a lot pull up precision is a very good option but i will get mamba mentality on next gen i don't know if it's on current gen i think it might be but once you get mob mentality you can change your takeover so i definitely will try pull up persistent on this build but i went with limitless and then for the secondary i actually went with extreme clamps that you guys can see stone walls ball handlers into more four stops pickups and fumbles when bodying them up basically just guarding them good so i went with that so that we have shooting takeover and defense takeover bro nobody's scoring on us with our 21 defensive badges and our max wing span this build is insane now we're going to complete the my player builder and i don't really love the shades that they gave us but you guys are about to see as we get Lonzo Ball, Kirk Heinrich, and Drew Holiday. I don't really like the Kirk Heinrich one, but Lonzo and Drew is fine. And it says you have built a three-point shot creator, which I don't really love that name. That's the same name as my other guard build, the 6-2 build that I posted, you know, first day of the game coming out. And honestly, that build is very fun to use. So if you guys have that, that is still a really good build. But it doesn't really make sense to me. This build is just all around way more balanced. It can get contact dunks where the other build can. There's a lot of differences about the builds, but somehow we got the same build name. I mean, the shades are completely different, but we got the same build name. Name. and if you guys are going to use this build then make sure to subscribe we're on the road to 700k if i'm helping you out with this video or you're going to use this build just sub up i'd appreciate it it's free also let me know when you subscribed was it today or was it back in 2020 let me know in the comments i'm going to go through them all and of course drop a like in the video if you guys haven't but i'm going to show you guys what badges are the best in the game as of right now for not only this build for, but for any build for the finishing badges like i said you guys are going to want to do that quest welcome to the league and get plus four to finishing so the badge setup that i went with is fearless finisher on bronze and aerial wizard on bronze which each cost you three three points so that's six right there giant slayer on gold is gonna cost three now we're at nine and then i put rise up on bronze now if you guys use your layup time you could take off aerial wizard and go pro touch on gold that'll give you 10 badges i'm gonna go with aerial wizard though because i don't use my layup timing and that'll allow you to get to tier three badges like i said once you put those badges on from the quest you could put limitless takeoff on silver obviously i can't do it though because i didn't do the quest and i'm just in the my player builder and you guys see at the bottom there limitless takeoff core challenge once you guys equip this badge there's gonna be the bar there on the bottom that fills up as you use it so let's say you're doing a lot of limitless takeoff or let's say you have posterizer on and you're getting a lot of posterizer dunks this bar here is going to fill up and it does take some time once the bar fills though you can click y on this badge in the actual game not in the my player builder like i can't do it here and it'll core the badge you guys see on the right side equipped core badges on top there it says your core badges core badges cost zero badge points so once you finish that bar there down there at the bottom for whether it's limitless takeoff posterizer or slithery it's up to you guys you core one of these badges and then you can pick a another one because that badge is going to cost nothing you could put on posterizer and limitless or posterizer and slithery uh, actually i would definitely recommend limitless i would probably say limitless and posterizer but yeah make sure that you core your badge as soon as you can keep checking your badges and keep checking how fast that bar is filling now when it comes to our 23 shooting badges on this build this is the setup that i decided to go with i went with gold amp which i think is a really good badge this year and then gold green machine green machine you got to have that on at least bronze but i did put it on gold i think it's going to be a pretty important badge this year now you guys could put it on bronze if you guys want to sprinkle around 
like some bronze badges if you guys want to put guard up and like clutch shooter or something like that in order to get your 10 badges to get the tier three ones personally though i'm gonna go with green machine on gold and then bang we have 10 badges in tier one and tier two so we can get tier three badges and i think agent three is actually the best tier three badge at least right now fades are op they always are at the beginning of the year and so i have agent three on silver it's going to help me with my fades from deep and then blinders is going to go on bronze of course once you core one of these badges you could put on i would say limitless range that is probably the badge that you're going to have to leave out but it's up to you guys i like agent three and blinders now we have 23 playmaking badges and this is the easiest badge category to decide what badges to put on we have quick first step on hall of fame here which is going to cost us six and then unpluckable will cost us four that'll get us our 10 badge points to get to tier three killer combos is going to go on gold which will cost us seven and handles for days is going to cost us six and then again once you guys core a badge there you can put on probably mismatch expert and a badge that's very underrated is bailout so when you guys are still getting your badges initially i would say throw it on bailout you know before you can get any of these tier three badges bailout's a pretty good badge for the last category of badges we have defense slash revenue we get 21 and i put gold menace and gold pick dodger I think these are pretty important chase down artists i do like this badge you know in previous 2k's but this year i have not really gotten any chase downs with this badge on and i've noticed a lot of people complaining chase downs and blocks in general are not that op anchor is actually the badge that you guys want on if you want to get blocks then if you do that you'd have to drop clamps down to bronze you know you put anchor on clamps can go down to bronze it's up to you guys if you guys think anchor is that good of a badge i'll probably mess around with it and see what i like but this is the badge that i'm going with clamp silver glove on bronze i think gloves gonna be a really good badge this year and so yeah guys that is the mr per Perfect build in NBA to get 23. That is going to be my new all around build that I probably will ISO with on stream and in videos. I think this build is going to be really good at ISOing and like playing ones. I might have to do some stage videos with this build because I think it's going to be OP. If you guys have any questions, let me know them in the comments below. But if this video helped you out or you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys. Baby, you know Thanks. Who I am. Yeah. They don't think that I meant it. They didn't know who I was. I had to make sure they know who I am. I was a young and a come up with a whole lot of hits before I was even a man. I've always been the hardest artist in every room. They just don't know why I stole it.